Okay, in this video, we are going to five-star the Goblin King. I uh, forgot to record the audio for some for some reason, I didn't record, but virtually what we're going to do is use the Steam Golem, Cat Zerker, and Omiri, all physical attack. Um, he does have another Goblin Archer and a Goblin, was it Mage? But um, you can just use a lot of the Long Slash or Ice Spear Valley to inflict debuffs and physical attack. The Omiri has the chance to do random buffs on enemies so it's pretty nice to have random burn chill and they take damage from their missing mana so that's the strategy i'm going for here steam golem just always going to keep using shield long slash on the cat zerker do this until it's just the goblin king Now we're going to continue to shield. Now use a um, high level claw, get the bleed up. Now he have, still has chill and burn. Now he has poison. So he's going to do the overtime damage, which is almost just as much as what a claw does. We're just going to keep doing that until the goblin cleaning is done. Okay, so now let's talk about my team setup. So we're using the Steam Golem with the equipment of Shield, Hide, Helmet, and Diadem. And then for the food, I gave him three almonds for increased defense. Especially what's good about him is he can always do Shield. And the way I have his mana regen and his max mana is I can virtually always have a Shield plus five unless I'm in chill. In this fight, there's a lot of chill. After the Shield, then we will use Shroud, which does Spellbound. And agility, which it gives us 20% chance to dodge magical and physical hits. It's pretty nice because at the beginning of the fight, I could have just go straight into spellbound because my attack's relatively high, and it gives everybody in the um everybody in the fight a shield equal to 150% of my attack. This one, same thing, gives more shield to the whole party. And whenever I apply shield to myself, 20% of the shield goes to my allies. Also, preparation, everyone starts with a random buff. Sometimes that can be really useful, like regeneration. Whenever I do applied Shroud, get more shield. So this Steam Golem is just really good for shield. Okay, how my Cat Zerker set up is I have a Katar plus 4, Cape plus 5, Crit Ring plus 2, Bang plus 4, and then Raspberries and Strawberries for increased crit damage. The moves I have is the Claws, level 5, Slash, level 4, Fire Claws, Air Sickle, and Long Slash. So I have the Severe Hit ability. If a single hit deals more than 25% of the enemy's max HP, or 10% on champions, Armor Break is inflicted in a stack of Wound. I have Bleed, so critical hits apply Bleed. Precision, times 2. First hit of an ability has a 20% increase crit chance so virtually I almost have I believe I have a 20 100 percent chance to crit on the first hit at least first impact increase the base damage of the first hit of an attack by additional 30 percent sure strike first hit of ability has a 10 percent increase critical chance it cannot be dodged every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 35 percent of the attack value life steal Heal by 15% of the damage dealt, which is really nice because the Kazurger is a little squishy, so deals a lot of damage so it can bring back some health. Has increased mana regeneration so it can continuously do claws level 5. And then hybrid attacker, hybrid mastery, so it increases its attack by 10% of the master monster's magic, and vice versa. 
for Imori, um, you have the guitar level 4, Fang plus 3, Cape plus 4, and Coat plus 5. So this one is an interesting I guess, setup. It has a lot of attacks that could potentially inflict debuffs. So I have Chilling Cold. Every water attack hits has a 15% chance to apply Chill. And I have the Ice Spears and then the Ice Spear Volley. So single AoE attack. Then every time there's Chill on an enemy, it deals damage equal to the missing mana. Which is nice for the boss enemies because they typically use a large chunk of mana the turn before. So this can do a lot of damage. Critical exploit attacks. The exploit an enemy's weakness has a 10% increased critical chance. And since I have fire, neutral, water, and earth attacks, that's covered. That has a large type coverage so I can always almost crit. Or do at least additional 50% damage. Cooling. Every hit has a 10% chance to apply chill. When ex exploit, when exploiting an enemy's weakness will attack, gain a random buff, which is really nice and get some increased defense, dodge, regeneration, etc. Every hit has a 10% chance to apply burn. Antitoxins at the beginning of each turn heal a random debuff from this monster. Again, really nice if it has shock or chill on itself. Acid spent reptiles in the party have a 7.5% chance to Apply poison or burn. In this setup, don't have any more other reptiles. Every fire, so again, every fire attack hit has a 15% chance to apply burn. Antipode when applying chill or burn, while the target already has their own debuff, triggering an additional 125% damage hit. So this is really nice for the bosses, boss, bosses that inflict debuffs. So that if I get a debuff on myself, this will do more damage when I inflict my own debuff. Defense proc. Every attack triggers an additional hit equal to 50% of the defense value. Feast. Whenever a monster takes bleed damage, enemy takes bleed damage, heal all monsters in the party by 15% of the amount. This is really nice for the Goblin King fight because I'm always inflicting bleed and there's a lot of bleed to be around, especially with the Cat Zerker. Mystify. When applying a debuff, 50% chance to gain a random buff. Because I am applying a lot of debuffs. I believe bleed is one of them. Counts as a debuff. I get a 50% chance to do a random buff. Deep wounds, bleed damage on enemy is increased by 50%. Really nice since we're relying a lot on the overtime bleed and tick damage. And then buff catalysts. Buffs are 20% more effective on this monster, which is really nice when we're having when we're having say channel sidekick etc